Hello and welcome back to the vlog. Today is Saturday, August 23rd or 4th? 24th? 24th. And we're here just in a little courtyard at the uh, Melbourne Convention and Exhibition Center for Animaga 2024. Animaga. Think Make America Great Again, but for anime. I think they've been around for like 10 years. So it's before all that, actually. They were MAGA first. Animaga. I didn't know that. Yeah, I think that's what they said. I think this is like the 10 year anniversary. Just here with my cousin hey. and his mate. Yo, we met for the first time today. What's up? Good to meet you. He looks, he looks so, he's so happy to meet me. He's always smiling. This, no, this hasn't faded the whole day. Anyways, uh, just here for a little break. You've got, um, your mate's got a DJ set, 5.30. Yep. Uh, so we're just chilling around for that. It's been, we've been here since 11.30ish for me, 11.30, you, you got about yeah. 11. And how have you found it so far? Just from my perspective, I got here, doors open at like 10ish, right? But when I got here at like 11, quarter past, it took about 20 minutes to get in. I thought it was gonna take hours to get in, but luckily enough, it only took about 20 minutes. Uh, how about you guys? Yeah, we got in, I got in straight away. Um, uh, yeah, I got a bit stuck outside. Um, I came out like probably like 12, a bit later. And yeah, it took me 45 minutes to get in. I basically, I didn't, I just woke up and then had breakfast. or oh, didn't have breakfast and went here. So I got a burger and um, a pie from the actual convention center. That was good. 25 bucks though for the both of them. Eight, uh, 16 bucks for the burger, nine around for the pie. But they were good quality. I was pretty actually surprised. Very filling. Uh, and then we just walked around and saw the exhibits. I got this um little keychain from the Indome stand, if I can find it. I'll put footage of that up anyways. Got that keychain. Then we just played some games. We I reckon we spent like, like a good hour learning how to play mahjong. And not just like Chinese mahjong, but like Japanese mahjong, which is like mahjong with extra rules, which is it's a bit full on. But the guy there was very helpful. So what are they called? Melbourne Mahjong Meetup, shouts out to them. Then we did a bit of rhythm gaming. That was cool. Free to play, you know, they're just set up there. Oh, well, we checked out that idol. They have this stage here called the Starlight Stage. There is like local idols and like Australian idols, not the one you're thinking of, but <laughs> idol, like Japanese idols that are Australian. But then the one we saw and kind of we got in the crowd for was a Japanese person, which was very cool. And they had their own like stereotypical cheer squad and everything. So I thought that was a uh, pretty fantastic and full, full of idol culture. What do you rate it so far? Mm, maybe six. Six out of 10. ten. Out of 10. Mm. Uh, 38 bucks online. Uh, actually, so I put this there. I, I went to One Stop Anime in, on Collins Street. It's like near the big Dimmicks there. And I had to get a physical pass because they sold out online. So yeah, so I got my wristband. So even though I had my wristband and you're meant to kind of exchange your online thing for a wristband at the thing, I still had to wait in line. So that was why it wasn't ideal in that respect. But anyways, I'm sure they'll get a lot of feedback on that. You know, people are traveling far and wide to be here. What do you rate it? Me? I mean, about a six. I've been to better ones, I think. This one's just a bit of a small, so small smaller gig. There's more space, so there's not a lot of room, so. Smaller in stuff to do, and also, I guess, in terms of like manpower and resourcing, it's not, it's not, it's not a badly run ship, but it's, it could be better. Any purchases so far today? None. Were you in the market for anything? Were you like, if something was- I was ready to purchase um, quite a few figures, one figure at least, but couldn't find anything. Nothing that I really wanted, so. What kind of uh, figures are you looking for? Mostly Jojo figures. Sergio, yeah. But yeah, it's not really trending at the moment. Oh, okay, cool. Kind of had its moment. Yeah. And then it's gone, but you're still yeah. staying true. Yep. JJ T T Y D. JoJo till you die. Mm -hmm. That's right. There we are. That's fair. Have they? Not really. I think now I just kind of shop for my nephew. He likes Pokemon. Nice. Yeah. I mean, for myself, I, I think I've bought enough stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I used to be really into Ray Zero. So I have like this massive RAM collection. Uh, so you're into Re Zero? Uh, yeah. Is that how you say it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you dressed as today? Kaneki from Tokyo Ghoul. Tokyo Ghoul. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. That wasn't a purpose rhyme, that was just an accidental rhyme. I'll pass this on to you, you can hold this for a sec. Feel free to freestyle for the fans at home. No, nothing on my mind. Mm -hmm. Just a lot of mouth sounds there. Anyways, I actually did buy something. It's in this brown paper bag. It's not what you think. Uh. It's uh, it's Tekken 7 cards. I love Tekken. It's like my favorite fighting game series. Um, I think this is for like some sort of Japanese trading card game. You might play it in like arcades or something, but I don't know. I just thought it would be a cool collectible. So that's what this is. Let's uh, give it a little open. It was nine bucks, I think. It's the only thing I've bought today, except for like food and drinks. Oh, we did get bubble teas too. Mm -hmm. I'll put some footage of that. <laughs> it's not that interesting. They were pretty expensive and kind of watery, but you know, 
It's, it's a convention, what are you gonna do? You get gouged. Anyways. Bit of asthma for you. I can see the first card, but let's have a mystery pull. Look, there we are. Cool package. Cool. And then there we've got... First one up. This is all in Japanese, but I can read Japanese luckily. So this is Rinjaoyu. And I'm also reading it backwards. This is Arisa Baskonovich. That's Dr. Baskonovich's daughter for anyone that's a big fan. This is Lily or Riri. Everything's gonna sound a little culturally insensitive, but that's just how you pronounce it. This is Ka... What the hell? Katari? Oh, Katarina. Ow. Oh, Albus. Katarina, oh, Katarina Alves, that's her name. She's like Brazilian. Katarina, ooh, Leroy, my man. Oh, I said, like, why did I put my, did I put my man in there? That's not good. <laughs> um, this is uh, Leroy Smith, <laughs> my guy. Okay, this is, oh, these are jacks. This is Jugeki, I don't know what that means. Jugeki, I think it's like some sort of scene. Jugeki, I don't know. This is, uh, what is his name? Cla Claudio, Claudio. Claudio Serafinovich, that's a guy. Serafino, Serafino. Claudio Serafino. And this is, again, Elisa, Elisa Baskonovich, but it's the super rare, I don't know. You know, look at the rarity on that, guys. I might get that graded, it's foiled somehow. Anyways, that's the uh, Tekken 7 cards pool. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these, except for I'll make more mess in my room. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we'll head back in, uh, see what's on for the rest of the day. Catch you then. Hello, hello, voice over Steve here. I didn't end up talking to the camera again for the rest of the day, but before I recap what we got up to after this segment, I wanted to mention a couple of other things we did beforehand. These Goku headbands me and my cousin were wearing were being given out by That's Hot Gifts and Collectibles, so shout out to them for kindly sharing those around. And in the Couch Warriors section of the convention, we also played a couple of rounds of the fighting game Blaze Blue, which was a great way to spend a bit of time. Anyways, after recording that talking segment, we went out to grab a drink at the nearby boat builder's yard. The prices there were okay, but apparently this gin and tonic was super weak, but I didn't actually try it myself, so you'll just have to take my word for it. We then headed back to the convention center to check out my cousin's other mate's DJ set. He was actually closing out the Starlight stage, and it was the end of the day, so not too many people were around, but he still did a great job. After that, we walked from the convention all the way to Five Guys in South Bank for dinner. It was my first time having Five Guys in Australia, hey hey. But anyways, yeah, me and my cousin got two bacon cheeseburgers, shared a large fries, and I got a vanilla and peanut butter milkshake. Honestly, this was the way to go and we were absolutely stuffed by the end of the meal. You definitely pay for it though. I think for two of us it was around 70 bucks, but you could easily spend a little less and get a cheaper but still filling meal, so it's all up to what you think it's worth I guess. All up, it was a pretty great day, and of course a special shout out to my cousin and his mate for letting me tag along and make the most of Animaga 2024. Thanks for watching and see you in another video.